As many of you will be aware, there's a movie that's on circuit now, All That Breeds. It's taken place, place in India and Delhi, where birds of prey, kites, are falling out of the sky because of horrible pollution. They just, their respiratory systems can't handle it. And also because of sometimes heat stroke. And this is, a, this is equivalent. We see this in vet practices all the time where birds are literally falling out of the sky. Here's a magpie, the quintessential Australian bird. They get incredibly tame because people feed them every day. We hope he hasn't had toxins, but he's been brought to us. Is he a he, Phil? Well, I'm actually not sure. She is a she because she's got the grey back. Yes. So let's. Uh, so we've got a little bird that's a little bit unwell and we're going to try and see whether we can save it or not. But as you can see, does not not able to fly. Quite active. So it might get some wormers and parasite treatments. Obviously this is wildlife. We get a couple every day. This is one of two that we've had today. Four. Pardon? Four. Four today already. It's more coming. So we hold this guy gently, but he's actually... She's pretty. She's, you'd, expect, you'd expect a wild magpie to be really distressed. You'd expect a, a, a wild magpie to be... Um, What's wrong with the right eye? So that's the third eyelid's over, but there's actually nothing wrong with the eye. Yeah. Third eyelid. The bird's either very weak, which is going to be part of the syndrome, and the second thing, really tame and used to people being around. But um, when we handle a bird, it's very gentle. Very gentle. So I'm going to just feel the um, the grip on the feet. So for the public, feel obviously we don't just automatically use these. We do our best. No, we, we really try. So for a bird that we, especially when we've got an owner, we'll take it back. So probably 10% of the work we do is on wildlife. And um, the public aren't aware of it. You know, people have a perception that vets specifically just want to make money, just want to, um, that's only they care about it. It's so far from the truth. Because vets are genuine, vets and the whole veterinary clinics and the whole staff and everyone around is often geared towards saving animals and doing their best. And even when there's um, no payment involved, we still do x-rays on probably a quarter of the wildlife that comes in. We give medication to maybe a third of the wildlife that comes in and we try. But we are aware that it's very tough out in the wild. The biggest thing we want here is quality of life and we also want... Um, we won't have no regrets. So we won't let a bird out that's not fit to survive in the wild because remember, um, if, we let a, if we let a bird out that can't, that's not fit to survive in the wild, it's going to just suffer and die slowly. It looks like there's actually been trauma on the wing. You can actually see there's a bruise here. So we picked up a bruise. So we'll actually get it onto an antibiotic. There's bruise and trauma on the wing. So maybe we'll have a good chance with this one. Let's have a look at the other wing. So if you guys have seen the movie, um, All That Breeds, you see pretty much people without vet degrees in India treating injured birds, and it's really cool. So this, oh, you can actually, so this on the other wing is the same kind of thing. So he's caught his wing in something. Being stuck in something. He's been caught in something. So this is probably a good outcome. So we'll keep you guys informed. One, antibiotics. Two anti-inflammatories for pain because it's sore. Three will clean the wounds. And we're hoping today is Tuesday, by Friday. Hopefully we get an improvement on the bird can be released. There's no guarantees, but we're going to do our best. And remember, vets often put a big effort into wildlife. And uh, they really care, usually. Okay. So this is the magpie we've had in care. Come up close, Katie. So the wings under there were what was saw. And you can see they've improved significantly. We're just about to do a little flight test. I'm literally going to put you down and see how you run around. Pooping. Still very reluctant. 
to fly. I'm not going to force you. You flutter. <laughs> Alright, we might need to do an x ray. What are we doing, guys? Taking x rays of a wild magpie, Katie, step out. And x ray. <laughs> so you position that. And start off with a DV image to get a spread out view of the patient, all extremities, wings, and feet. And then we go next with a lateral. You get a sideways view of those same things. Look at that, tape it. We turn the light on. Sorry, fix the plate first. So obviously we're concerned about wings as well as feet here. And we're extracting the whole bird anyway, mm -hmm. may as well. So just make sure it's positioned correctly. Don't forget the good old left right markers. Mm -hmm. Left side. And we get the hell out for the x ray. <laughs> and x ray. I so off. Untake please. Go into recovery. So while we're recovering, Ethan, what can you tell me about the colour? Well, we've got a grey back on this one. What does that mean? Well, I always used to think that it meant it was still a juvenile, less than a year old. But apparently I've been told that that means that this is most likely a girl, whereas the boys are bright white. Partly because this bird's been at a bird feeder regularly, so the people who live in the house where it was found know it. So it's over a year old. It can mean juvenile. Nothing serious showed up on the x-ray, so this magpie was transported to a wildlife carer, licensed especially to look after wildlife, for a longer period in care and then eventually released.